What is up Mako Madness fans? This is Dan checking in from Busch Gardens Tampa today and we're gonna go check out Cobra's Curse and uh, see how the park is doing. It's been a couple weeks since we've been here so let's head inside. Alright so we just got inside the park and uh, we do have the Food and Wine Festival still going on. It's not today however but uh, if you haven't been to it yet I would highly suggest it. It's a great event but we're gonna go uh, check out what's going on with Cobra's Curse right now. We're gonna be walking over to the Egypt area. Let's see what's new. Across from Cheetah Hunt, we have the Crown Colony. And if you wanna see Cobra's Curse, this is the best place to view it. And see what I mean by having the best view here? We can see a ton of work has been done on the construction site. I mean, literally, they've got theming, they have scenery with plants all over the place. And there's gonna be a lot of stuff I'm gonna cover in this section. So let's uh, start out first, I guess, with the lift. So one thing I want to point out is we have the cables that are right there attached. See right there? Goes all the way up to the uh, spindle wheel up at the very top. And another thing to note, that uh, track over there looks like it's changed position from the last time we saw it. So I'm wondering if they're actually doing tests with a lift and I wouldn't doubt it. And then over here, if you remember, we had the coaster train that, as you can see right over there, has actually changed positions. It was over on that side before. So we know that at least they're uh, switching around the cars too. But this station area over here is really coming along as well. They got the roof on it, everything else. We can see the track down there as well. While I've been spending some time up here, I've uh, checked out a couple different things. And another thing to note, they do have the base of the Cobra actually wrapped up in some track as well over there. So looks like they're actually doing some uh, theming to the base of the tower to maybe hopefully hide some of those supports that hold up the entire snake. And off to the side over here, we have some new wood structure. And it looks like that's gonna cover uh, some sort of pathway. I don't think you're gonna be walking on that like that dude right there. Just like the other projects that we've covered with Mako Hulk, we have the concrete forms at the base of the footers. Right there, they just need to be completed. Once those guys are in, we're really gonna be close to testing. Down over here, we can actually see a couple construction workers doing something with uh, what looks to be a pathway. I'm not sure if that's gonna be a maintenance pathway or if it's gonna be a guest one, but we already know the ride is gonna get you very, very close to those pathways, so you should have a very awesome close view. A little bit further down, we can actually get another view of the site. And then of course, right over here, all that new platform. And the front entry area right over here, you can see still has the scaffolding up. Well, it's been a little while since I've checked out a park map here at Busch Gardens Tampa, and we can see a newly updated section of here for Cobra's Curse, saying that we'll be striking in 2016 in the Egypt area of the park. I would expect that they're gonna update the map one more time. Once we actually have a, a closer date to the opening, we'll have the layout on there, of course, completing the rest of the map. You sped me right round, baby, right round. All right, so we're heading over into the Egypt area of the park and we can see the new entry area. A little bit closer look at the cable that's been installed now. Going all the way up to the wheel. And then all 
the way down to the base. Since the last time we checked in on the entry area, the scaffolding is uh, still here, but the covers look a little bit thicker. It's actually harder to see what looked to be a snake behind there. So I would hope theming is going well on that and it won't be too much longer before we have the work walls down and access to the whole area. We are now right up close next to the entry area and we can actually see just a little bit on the other side of that uh, covering. We have some workers still putting in some details on that snake it looks like. And just off to the side over here, really awesome to see, we have hieroglyphics on this wall. Looks like it's completely done. I don't think they're going to be doing any more with it, but got some really neat attention to detail. That's what counts, the small little details. That's what sets you apart from all the other parks. Busy, 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 busy. What an absolutely beautiful afternoon here. And our closest view of the tower. And really, this video and pictures do not do it justice. It looks much taller in person. But it's gonna be a fun attraction, not really a scary one, I don't think. And I can't wait to actually take my first ride coming up very soon. Uh, we haven't heard an official opening date yet for this ride, but with Mako making their announcement just this past week, I would expect uh, Bush Gardens and Cobra's Curse not going to be too far behind. I know, I know, a little tough to see over here, but we do have uh, the ride's perimeter fences in place. I know you're just seeing a mess of fences right here, but trust me, it's there. Some bigger thematic elements are actually showing up. Looks like a sculpture of some sort. I'll tell you what, ever since they uh, did the paint job over again for Montu, thing looks absolutely beautiful. Very bright, very vibrant. a different view of the construction site we can of course see that tower right there and it doesn't look like of course we have that other cable installed just yet pretty soon though I would expect and then further on down the snake we can get that better view of some of the uh, cover-up I guess you could say for the supports they're gonna try to make it look a little better over there and one of the bigger things to note over here also Check out this. Looks like we may have a pathway of some sorts, possibly, or a barrier. But it does look like it's wide enough for uh, a pathway. And it goes all the way down over there. So I'm wondering if we're going to have it connect to some of the pathways over there. Really opening up the entire area for great photos and interaction. Fingers crossed, guys. Black Building 2, right, is our beautiful crown colony house restaurant where you can dine in Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
ones that have a man, and it's purely his fault. Yeah. So, the big one you can see is all over the hill there. And our final view of the entire site today, guys, is right over here near the Meerkats. <laughs> and we can see just how twisted that track is over here. Check out that layout, guys. It looks awesome. Okay. Can you get to right? In other general park news, one of the uh, viewing areas for the hyenas is currently closed off. It looks like we have some work going on inside there. So if you're coming to see hyenas and wanted to get up close, unfortunately it looks like you won't be able to, at least right now. I don't expect it to be closed very long though. The Busch Gardens Food and Wine Festival is going on for a couple more weekends. As we can see on the list here, we have Chris Young, All-American Rejects, Meatloaf, Leonard Skinner, and uh, pretty much Jordan Sparks. Uh, that's going to be it for the concerts that we have here though. And you would be able to enjoy all the food and drinks that they have, which is phenomenal. So I highly suggest getting out here. Every time I come to the park, I have to come in here. How can you not love kangaroos? Just chilling. Om nom nom nom. Om nom nom nom. Om nom nom nom. You know, I still don't know where they could put a, uh, another ride. Just absolutely no clue. I don't know where there's a bunch of land available or anything else like that. No idea. All right, Bush Gardens, come on. What are we gonna do with this atrocity? Either tear it down or RMC it. Don't just leave it standing here. Alrighty guys, so we're over here at Val Raven, or of course, Shikra. And Shikra is gonna be our special flyby today, closing off the end of the video. Of course, Cobra's Curse had a bunch of construction going on, and we will have more updates for that. So if you like what we do, follow us on Instagram, our Facebook, and our YouTube page at Make a Madness, and I will see you out on the Midway. Oh snap! World Star! World Star! They're fighting! Get him!